episode six of Furchwin Talks Felician. My guest today, redshirt senior Felician baseball pitcher, Alex Schwartz. Alex, how are you doing today, my friend? I'm good, Jim. I'm really good. I'm excited to be here. How are you doing, man? All right. I know you've been asking to be on here for about a little month and a half now, but I'm happy that uh, we finally got this to work. And uh, let's get this on the road. So uh, the start of the season happened uh, last week. And uh, you guys started off well against Malloy. Then you just came off of that uh, back-to-back doubleheader against Stack and lost all four games. But um, as far as the strength of the schedule is concerned, how do you guys feel you're playing right now, even though you won your first two and you dropped your last five? So uh, I definitely think we, we have a chance to turn it around, you know, going forward. Um, we, we had some tough games, really back-to-back, close games. Um, uh, like together, but uh, you know, moving forward, we can definitely turn it around. Um, it, it was just a rough start to the year, but uh, you know, uh, we have a great group of guys uh, on this squad. A lot of talent, really good pitching depth too. So I definitely think we can turn around, especially once we get into conference play. We can turn that record around, and uh, you know, hopefully win a CAC title that way. Speaking of conference play, I'm going to segue right into that. Uh, Last year, due to cut to the coronavirus, you guys finished 2-11, and 11, a very rough start to 2019 and 2020. But 2021 came around. You guys are projected to win the CACC this year. Do you think um, that is no fluke? Do you guys think you have a chance to win the conference once conference play comes around? I definitely think we have a real shot. Um, this is a really special group of guys that we have on the team this year. And uh, – once we start rolling on all cylinders, once we, we start clicking all together, we, we have a lot of transfers right now. Um, and I just feel like we're not clicking on all cylinders together right now. But uh, once we get there, once we get to that point, I'm 100% sure that we can make a deep run into the, to the conference tournament and possibly get into the regional tournament and make a run there too. Good. Uh, your strength of the starting rotation for Felician, you got Dwayne Marshall, uh, who's a transfer. Uh, then you have Michael Gutierrez, yourself, along with Nick Elise, the transfer from Dominican, and then you have uh, Darwin Matos. So how do you feel with those five pitchers you guys can uh, establish a good um, synergy coming into conference play? So uh, this is the best starting rotation I've ever been on as a baseball player in my career. Um, We have a, a really talented group of pitchers, especially starters, who can all go out there and know who are capable of getting the job done. You know, uh, you know, just to touch on, touch on Goody. Everybody knows Goody Ares. You know, he's he's he's, got, he's in the record books at Felician. Just the man knows how to pitch. He's uh, forty five strikeouts shy of first place. He's two hundred sixty three. And I have no doubt that he'll get there in five games. <laughs> the man just <laughs> punches people out. <laughs> and then we got Marshall. Marshall's just a great kid. He's a uh, he's really humble, super quiet, but. The, the man just throws flames. Like I've seen him up to the hardest I've seen him up to in practice is like 93, but it was just with ease, absolute easy 93, no effort at all. And I'm out there grunting and, and trying to get the most out of the ball. And I'll be lucky if I touch an 88. So just to see someone who can do that with that type of talent uh, is just amazing. And it's great to have on the staff. Coach Langan says that Marshall clocks in at 96. Yeah. Oh, I, I wouldn't doubt it at all, but this, I've only seen him on the gun at practice, and it was just easy 93. Just So to see him put effort into a pitch, I, I wouldn't doubt that he could probably get up to 98. And he, has, and he doesn't even grunt. He just throws hard at me like you're grunting like a tennis player going 88 miles an hour. Exactly, if I'm lucky. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, uh, Nicolise, great kid, transfer. He's a little goofy. But, uh, you know, the man, he's got great stuff. And I have no doubt that, um, you know, he's going to help us go deep in the games. And then we got the lefty in the rotation, Darwin Matos. And, um, you know, the kid's just a workhorse. Every day before practice, he's the, the first one there. He's getting his sprints in. He's doing his, his weighted ball work. So the man is just a workhorse. And, uh, you know, you can count on him really in any spot, you know, if, if we need, a, you know, a big pitch. So I'm, I really believe in the staff and, uh, you know, to go along with the staff, you know, I got to shout out the bullpen too. You know, it we have a really talented bullpen. Uh, we might be a little on the younger side, but some of these guys, man, they just they can pitch. They really can pitch, and I believe in them. And even though we had a, 
you know, rough set going through. Um, I know I can count on these guys. You know, when I got pulled from the game yesterday and I looked down, I see Tucker. I'm like, I, I was walking off the field. I'm like, man, you got this. And I believe in that kid 100%. I don't mind handing the ball off to any one of our guys in the pen just because I trust all of them. Uh, your hobbies outside of baseball. Now, I know we talked about this prior, but this is something very interesting. So, Mr. Schwartz, what are you doing when you're not uh, throwing 88-mile-an-hour fastballs to your catcher? <laughs> so, uh, no, I, I really enjoy playing a lot of video games. Uh, I'm, I'm an avid investor. Uh, I like going to, uh, you know, looking at stocks, looking at cryptocurrencies. And uh, a lot of the guys on the team will just come up to me if they have any stock, uh, if they want some stock advice or they want to learn about like Bitcoin or Ethereum, all the cryptocurrencies. So I'm like the resident stock expert on the team. So if anybody you knows like, hey, what's your stock pick for this week? I'll give it to them. And uh, another side thing I have going on right now is uh, I actually own a company. Um, I won a contest at Felician last year where it was in, in the business department and it was to pitch an idea of, um, you know, of a company. And I went in and I won. Uh, and they gave me $5,000 to start my company, Locked, a Locked Technologies, L-O-C-K-D. Um, and we're incorporated. And uh, what my product is, is uh, if you know how Apple Pay works, yep. you just tap your phone on the... Uh, on the card reader, there's a chip in every phone called an NFC chip yep. that allows you to do that. And what my company is, is a door lock um, with an app on your phone. Tap your phone on the lock, it opens Face ID, scans your face, lets you in. And uh, so that's the company idea. We have a couple prototypes right now. Uh, and uh, we're looking for more investors, if anyone watching. But uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I really see the main application for this as hotels um, and doctors' Very, offices, yes. maybe hospitals as well, just, you know, rooms where only certain people are granted to access. And, and how I see it for hospitals is, you know, a surgeon or a doctor has access to all the rooms, while, you know, a nurse has only access to specific rooms, you code that into the app, and they would be able to cut down on so many keys that people have having. This is a very valuable idea, especially in a pandemic right now where it's all about social distancing, people being in different rooms away from each other. Yeah. Alex, that is a brilliant idea, and I wish you the best of luck with that. That would be awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And my final question, I guess, would be like your favorite baseball moment, whether it be individual or favorite moment that you've had uh, watching Major League Baseball, Minor League Baseball. But um, I just want to understand no, – when you go back and you play that sport that, that you love, what's the first thing that comes to mind of why you wanted to play it? Um, so I guess I can give you three options, three different – I'll give you all three of them. So my favorite moment as a player uh, would definitely be pitching in the regional tournament uh, two years ago. Um, it was just a whole different atmosphere, pitching in, in these big games against these teams who had – really good records and we knew we're, there were going to be tough games going into it and just having the ball in that spot is definitely one of my favorite moments in uh, my baseball career um professional moment i gotta say it was jeter's last game i uh, just watching that game uh walk off versus baltimore walk off <laughs> exactly uh you know brought a tear to my eye you know jeter was my idol growing up him and Mariano, and uh, you know, just to, just to see a legend go like that in style, walking it off, it's just uh, that's definitely my favorite uh, baseball history moment that I watched live. And I guess the moment that got me into baseball, I guess it's just kind of a collection of moments. Uh, growing up, um, we lived in Ohio from when I was two to like five, I think. Okay. Uh, just as a young child. And uh, my dad every weekend would just take me to like minor league games out there and just sit in the grass. And uh, they had like a, a grass lawn you could sit at. And uh, it's definitely what got me interested in playing. You know, I would just go with him every weekend. Um, now are you in Northern Ohio by Lake Erie? So therefore that's why you're so adapted to the cold then if you were that <laughs> young. Yeah. It was Columbus, where we lived at Columbus. So, uh, uh, yeah, they're just, you know, just going to baseball games every weekend with my dad and finally like, started letting me play once they 
got around the T-ball. So that's definitely what got me into baseball. That's the baseball moment. That is a great story, for thank sure. You. Thank you. Alex Schwartz, thank you so much for joining uh, episode six, First Way Talks for Leishan. Good luck the rest of the way this season. And thank you again for your time. All right, thanks, Jim. I really appreciate it. All right, awesome.